back to my third video. Today we are playing as my very favorite killer, the Doctor. And if you're wondering why I love this guy so much, well, just listen to his cheery, cheery voice, just like that. The Doctor is just like me here, he is just happy to be here. And as you can see, I do have both his iridescent add-ons. My favorite iridescent add-ons of any killer. His king basically you mixes all of his other add-ons together. I get to see illusionary palettes. I get to see a red stain on survivors who have higher levels of insanity. And of course, those survivors are having a real hard time with all of the insanity debuffs that that provides. The Iridescent Queen is kind of like a... just the perfect queen for the king. Essentially what it does is it turns my shock therapy and I guess my static charge attacks into uh, chain lightning is the best way I would describe it. And so, with all that, this doctor is pretty unstoppable. And of course, we're giving him the Ebony Memento Mori. I love his Mori. Can't get enough of it. We got some pretty overpowered perks for him as well. Although, if I could replace Spies from the Shadows with uh, the Whispers perk, that would be wonderful. But I don't really have that yet for him. So instead, we got No Ed, No One Escapes Death. And what that essentially does is once the exit gates are powered, a random totem on the map that hasn't been cleansed will become my personal hex totem, which allows me to move faster and put survivors into the dying state with one hit, regardless of their current health. Couldn't have said it better myself there, Doc. It is a heavily overpowered perk. We also have Monitor and Abuse. I do love perks that increase my field of vision. Um, oh. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep, field of view is increased by 5 degrees if I'm not in a chase. It also increases my terror radius in a chase, which essentially is another way to buff up my, my uh, special attacks. We have Lethal Pursuer. So that as soon as the match starts, I get to see exactly where the survivors are. Run over there, give them a little bit of therapy, you know. And then we have Spies from the Shadows, which I mentioned, which essentially makes it so that when a survivor runs past the crows, and I'm close enough, those crows give off a noise notification so that I can see exactly where they are. Kind of, um, gratuitous with all of his other perks, but... What are you gonna do? Overall, we are looking super overpowered, especially for a low rank. But if there's anything I love about being overpowered, it is making myself as OP as possible and having a lot of fun doing it. And with the Doctor, every match is a lot of fun. We're hitting start right now. We will see how long it takes to get into a match. I really feel bad for the poor survivors who are gonna be... <laughs> fodder for my doctor. And that laugh, oh, in love with that laugh. I could hear that all day. That's right, Doc. I just can't get enough of that. You can tell he is just happy to be here, even with all of his, uh, grotesque mutilations. He's just having a good old time. He's here to give some therapy, have some fun, and so am I. So it is a perfect match. A match made in heaven. In another universe, me and the Doc would be soulmates, I tell you what. Oh, here we go. I can already see the survivors we're going to be dealing with today. Had to take care of a notification real quick, but we are good to go. 
I said I'm ready. We're dealing with David King, Meg Thomas, Yoon Jin Lee, and Feng Ming. Oh, Yui Kimura. My bad. I I get those two confused sometimes. Oh. Well, what do you know? I'm not sure what happened there. Let me pause real quick. I'll get us back to where we were before in no time. And we're back. I just hit start. I do believe me responding to that notification I had had something to do with that little bug I just witnessed. It's all good, of course. We didn't start a match, so I didn't really lose anything. We're all good. And now we're going to be going up against two Lori Strodes, a Meg Thomas, and a Quentin Smith. And you can see the doctor waiting behind that tree. Ready. Ready for what's about to come. And unfortunately for the survivors, it looks like none of them have a full perk set, and all they're bringing with them is a flashlight. And if you guys notice from my uh, ghost face playthrough, the flashlight is not going to be very effective on me. Especially with the doctor. Even if they drop a pallet on me, I'll be using that shock therapy attack so quick that they will not be able to blind me with the flashlight. Overall, terrible idea if they try. I feel a little bad for that, but what are you gonna do? They decided to bring a flashlight. I decided to bring an armory, and it's just no contest. I know I, I complained a little bit in my last killer uh, playthrough how this has gotten a bit too easy for me, being used to being in the red rank, but when I play as a doctor, it is always fun. I'm going to up the brightness a little bit here. Not sure if you guys could see that, but I did up the brightness just a little because, uh... Eh, it was just a little too dark for me. So I can see them all working on one generator over there. Looks like someone's trying to provide a, uh, diversion. But, not gonna happen. There we go. Got them all. Just like that. It looks like they're all running in about the same direction. I was not expecting that. And here we go. One of the lorries will be my first victims. One of them. Oh, they did get me with the flashlight. This is a pretty good player here. I am impressed with that. I am quite impressed with that flashlight hit. But, not gonna make much of a difference. It's already over. This game was over the second I picked the doctor. And there we go. And there we go. She thought she was going to distract me with that pallet. Unfortunately for her, it did not work. So, without further ado, let's get this first hook. There you have it. Little too easy. Little too easy. And I do see the survivors this way. There's at least two of them. So, let's just put a stop to that real quick. I'm gonna damage this generator. And I'm almost positive one of them went another direction. We are seeing a little bit of stuttering here, I've noticed. Which is a bit strange. I'm not used to that, for sure. Oh. And as you can see there, there's also an illusionary doctor. Who these guys can trigger. See a doctor. You know. That's not really there. And they just spread their madness. And now, Quentin over there is getting close to uh, feeling the power. And here we go. There's another hit. Sounds like someone's already in the third tier of madness. They're trying to snap themselves out of it. That is another great thing about the Doctor. Once you get them up to madness tier 3, there's just no help in them. And just like that, we're about to have our second hook. Like I said, too easy. They did manage to complete a generator. 
That's fine. Honestly. Doesn't make much of a difference. Especially when I know exactly where they're gonna be. So now we got... I think this is Meg Thomas. Yep, Meg Thomas. Already getting smacked. She's probably gonna try to go around here. Oh no, she went another way. And she's in a locker. Oh well. Sorry Meg, I wasn't gonna fall for that, buddy. So now, you get to hop on a hook. Third hook of the game already. And... Hit both these survivors. And now she just locked herself out of that vault spot. Oof. As I said, there's a little bit of stuttering here. I am having a bit of trouble with that. And she was going to try to hit me with that flashlight again, but... Like I said, not a good idea with, to try that with a pallet. Because I can just activate my own ability there. Ooh, and somehow I missed that. I was not expecting that. And she's down for the count. Sorry, Lori, I saw that coming. And it looks like you are done. Game over. Just like that, I retook the advantage. For me, ah, in these games, I always love to consider it generators versus how many survivors are left. I find that to be the best way to measure my abilities. It would appear as though Meg over there is injured. And so I'm gonna, of course, go for her. And she let herself get hit by my shock therapy. And Quentin let himself catch some madness. So there goes Meg. And now, game over. And now, everybody is aware that I have the Ebony Memento Mori. Unfortunate for them. I don't think I'm going to be hitting many more pallets at this point. Or generators. Really no reason for me to damage them. Because, uh, it's two survivors versus four more generators to fix. The odds of that happening are slim to none, to say the least. Quentin tried to psych me out with that vault. He's gonna do it again. I'm not sure why. That was a terrible idea there, Quentin. I don't know what you were thinking. If I saw that happen once, I know you're gonna do it again. Come on now. But, oh well, that's the way he wanted to play. That's the way he's gonna die. And there's the last survivor, announcing her presence for me. Real nice. Love it. Oh, missed. She's gonna go for one of the illusionary pallets, I can already tell. Uh, or the vault, which is just as nice. Oh, but she- this one's clever, that's for sure. Oh, but not clever enough. Sorry, Lori. It's over. It's all over. Uh, normally I would toy with her. Let her friend die on the hook before I got to her. There we go. Damage a generator. I don't know what her plan is here. Even with unbreakable and tenacity, there's just no chance for her escaping at this point. So there we go, just toying with her, giving her a little extra therapy, you know. That's what I'm here to do, I am here to help. Uh, hopefully, actually, if she uh, keeps crawling that way, I th do believe I'm going to take her to the basement. Make it a real nice little, little final kill. No, she stopped right there. Oh, she's going to fight back too, which is fine by me. 
Honestly, this game's already over. There's no chance for her. Oh, basement's not here. Huh, they really changed a lot in this newest update. I love it, though. So let's get a few more blood points. That's always a good idea as a killer, just to try and get as many extra blood points as you can. And there you have it. Game over. As I said, way too easy. Even with the stuttering I had there, as you guys might have seen in the recording. Uh, the doctor had all the fun he could have asked for. And then some. And we even ranked up. We're a little step closer towards that red rank finally. Ah. Uh, honestly, wow, this is a really short video. I, I definitely... I've already rated this game, but... <laughs> I definitely, um, really enjoyed that. Not sure what rituals we got here. Oh, I was gonna say, the doctor really doesn't have any rituals he can do, but... Still had loads of fun. Sorry if this game was a little too quick, but that's just how it is when I play the doctor. Used to being red rank against a whole bunch of people who were not ready for what, the, what was in store for them. Ah, definitely a satisfying game. Definitely satisfied my uh, craving, my need for bleed, you could say. So, I guess that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this one, even if it seemed a little unfair to watch. If you did, you can always drop a like. You can also leave a dislike if you uh, thought this was too messed up, even for Dead by Daylight. And if you uh, want to see me post more, make sure you subscribe. Until then, you all have a wonderful day.